Hey everyone, welcome back to Maple Syrup Tech. Today, we'll be discussing the AMD Athlon 200GE and how overclocking this previously locked processor is actually becoming easier and more widespread. Now, first of all, I just want to let you guys know that this video is sort of coming in an unexpected fashion. Theoretically, I was going to be showing you this week this build. However, due to uh, the new information I got uh, regarding the 200GE, I'm going to have to retest that whole build, so we'll be getting to it very shortly. But today, I really wanted to share some new information about the Athlon 200GE and in addition to what other channels have already spoken of. So, so link in the video down below if anyone wants to see Gamers Nexus and Hardware Unboxed videos because they're the ones who pretty much broke the story on uh, the fact that the AMD Athlon 200G is supposed to be locked. But in November's update of the BIOS, um, MSI actually unlocked the processor in the uh, motherboard BIOS. And uh, it seemed to be a mistake that they made when they, update, when they updated their motherboards in the month of November. Now, the way it works in my, you know, if you, if, if you guys didn't know, but when you, I'm doing a build on the channel, I'm ordering the parts a month, two months ahead of time, getting the parts together, getting everything ready. So I was pretty bummed when I saw the video because the motherboard I bought for my Athlon 200 GE was a gigabyte motherboard. And I then found out when I was right in the middle of the build that had I taken an MSI motherboard, I could have actually presented you a build with an overclocked 200 GE. So I was pretty bummed and I was actually wondering if I should even show you guys the build or not. Uh, anyway, long story short, I decided to go ahead forward with the build anyway. And to my great surprise, when I would, last week when I was pretty much ready to finalize the last elements and I had tested the system and everything, Gigabyte came out with a BIOS update on December 6th for my motherboard more specifically. And in this update, it specifically said that it increased compatibility for the AMD Athlon 200GE. So I decided, you know what, let's take a shot. Who knows, maybe they made the same mistake MSI did and the Athlon is gonna be overclockable now. I, I updated the BIOS and to my huge surprise, in the BIOS now you can, up, you can actually overclock the AMD Athlon 200GE. So, I don't know if this is actually a mistake made by the motherboard vendors or if AMD has sort of, without making a public announcement, decided to actually make their Athlon 200G even more competitive and have unlocked overclocking in the BIOS. If you try to overclock it using AMD's software, by the way, this chip still says it's locked. But in the motherboard uh, BIOS system, it really is overclockable like any chip. And it actually overclocks pretty, pretty decently. We're not going to, going to go into a ton of numbers on my channel in this video today, because that's not really the point of the information, because the overclocking on the CPU itself hasn't changed since the information given by the two previous channels, which I'll link their videos, because honestly, these are guys that I listen to all the time, I trust, and if you look at their numbers, you'll get some really, really good gaming numbers on the, the performance that you can get once you start overclocking this CPU. I more want to share with you guys that, hey, if you're rocking a gigabyte motherboard, you can overclock the CPU as well. You just have to go get the latest BIOS that was released in uh, December, which is AGSA code uh, 1.0.0.6, and you'll actually be able to overclock the CPU like you would any other unlocked CPU. And it actually overclocks pretty easily. I was able to get mine up to 3.8 gigahertz off of auto, auto voltage, so without pushing any extra voltage at all, you just set the dial to 3.8, and I was stable running IDA64 for at least six hours, no problem. And I actually made managed to get it stable at 3.9, pushing the voltage to about 1.4, which is where I'm comfortable in my system because I didn't want to go overboard since this is a budget processor with a huge cooling solution. So the extra couple of hours it's going to take you to overclock the CPU is really worth it. Like I said previously, reference the videos down below. You can get really a lot of gaming information, but overall you get an, a boost between 10 to 15% in most games on your frame rate when you are CPU bound. 
Uh, you in Fire Strike you get almost an extra one thousand points on the physics. Uh, on Cinebench you easily get an extra one hundred and fifty points from your CPU. So it's really a huge gap or it's really something that is really worth the time to look into if your motherboard is compatible with overclocking for the 200GE with the latest update. So if you guys are not aware, I'm gonna link the Gigabyte website down below because the uh, the updates to the BIOS, you have to go buy your exact make and model of motherboard, select the BIOS that is for you. By the way, overclocking is only available on the, AB, on the, 350, the B350 or B450 X370, X470 chipset systems. If you're rocking an A320 board, unfortunately you won't be able to overclock because those boards just can't overclock any of the chips. Uh, but if you're rocking any of the other Gigabyte boards or MSI boards, you'll now be able to overclock your 200GE. Uh, so like I said, I'm gonna link the Gigabyte and the MSI websites down below so that you guys can get to them, choose your make and model, and you'll be able from there on to download the latest BIOS. For Gigabyte, you'll, you'll be looking for BIOS F24C, and for MSI, you'll be looking at the November release. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not, by heart, I don't know the exact name of the BIOS update, but you'll want the November release of the BIOS. So hopefully if uh, the other manufacturers follow suit like ASRock and ASUS uh, and uh, EVGA for their motherboards, I think we'll be able to deduce that uh, AMD is now okay with overclocking the CPU. And honestly, when they released it and they decided to lock it, I was a little bit surprised to begin with because the whole stick of AMD, shtick of AMD since the beginning was really uh, to offer all their CPUs overclockable, best price for performance and then they release a locked cpu and a locked cpu that is really only uh, you know artificially locked like as you can see because the bios just unlocks like a simple update into the bios and the cpu becomes on uh, you know overclockable and it makes way more sense now at the current price because right now it really buries any of the competition at this price point once the cpu is overclocked before it was sort of up in the air between uh, the low-end Intel parts and the AMD 200GE because the Intel parts right now because of demand are, or sorry, so supply are more expensive, but they were giving you generally better performance by about, you know, 10 to 20% in most games. And now with the overclocking, they're neck to neck beating or just, you know, almost exactly the same as most of the Intel parts, but at a much lower price. So if you guys didn't know that this was now available, I hope this information will be useful to you. Uh, likes and subscribes are always really important for the channel. Uh, Please visit the links down below to those two other channels. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I don't know them personally, but those guys do great work and they really offer you know great information. So do visit their channels, get the information, look at the numbers. You'll see that it is really worth your time. And hopefully the information I'm adding that you know it's no longer just MSI and Gigabyte will be useful to you guys out there. And I'll keep my eyes open, like I said, for the other manufacturers, because if I see it come along, I will be testing it out, seeing if it becomes available with the others because I do have Asus and ASRock motherboards. I tested the latest BIOSes, still not available, but I'll keep my eyes out. So once again, like some subscribes. Don't forget, please help the channel out. We're getting to that 1,000 subscribers. We're not far. Faster we get there, more content I'll get. And I'll be presenting you guys that build that I talked about earlier in the video, probably in the next week, once I have time to retest it with the new overclocked uh, settings. And I'll see you guys in my next video.